up guys and welcome to a new video. My name is Frank and I react to metal music. Today I'm here again for the second time with Voice of Bass Prod and their song School Revolution live in Belgium. And a lot of you guys suggested me to react to the song next from them. Uh, sorry it took me a little bit uh, to do this reaction and continue my you know, journey, my Voice of Bass Prod journey. But uh, I had a lot of videos to edit lately, so you know, I didn't have much time to record new stuff. And today I'm recording quite a bunch of new videos, you know, four or five new videos, which of course I will uh, upload uh, on the channel in the next few days. And I still have like, I think, three or four videos to edit to and, uh, and, <laughs> and upload still. So <laughs> I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta hurry up today and uh, get stuff done, you know what I mean? But um. What to say about this band? They have a very, very cool sound. I reacted to a cover uh, from them uh, so far, and uh, this is the first original song that I listened from them. So I'm very, very curious and very excited because they are super duper cool, man, and they have a very cool sound. So uh, yeah, guys, before I start, please consider subscribing to the channel if you like this video, leave a like and a comment if you have more suggestions for me. When I just want to say hi. I want to tell me something interesting about this band. And let's start. I also really, really like her SG guitar. Very cool looking. Very, very Angus Young from a CDC style. <laughs> To that bass already. Nice. Clapping. Very, very hard rock is sounding so far. With the alternate picking. And I'm out of blue scale. interesting vocals here. She got a lot of deeper tone. I say very very interesting singing style in this one. She's got uh, a little bit slower and a lot a lot deeper before, and she's singing very fast uh, in other parts of the song, almost like rapping. So it's very interesting. And uh, riffing wise, I would say this is uh, something in the middle between uh, um, classic hard rock and uh, classic uh, heavy metal. You know, heavy metal from the 80s, and uh, very interesting. And uh, of course, that hard rock uh, sound is uh, uh, helped by her guitar, which is an SG, and the SG usually have a very, very um, hard rock, classic hard rock kind of sound. So even if she plays um, metal on it, uh, and the, it, she distorts it quite a bit, it's gonna have a, a quite of a deeper tone and a little bit uh, more on the rock uh, side compared to the, uh, you know, if you uh, play this, uh, for, for instance, with an Ibanez or who knows, uh, you know, like a, 
an uh, LTD ESP, something like that. Uh, of course, she could change the pickups on it and make it sound more metal-like, but uh, looking at it by this angle, it seems like the guitar is original, so it's got that very, very deeper tone typical of Gibson's guitar, you know, like Les Paul's and SG's. Uh, of course, there is, there is a little bit of uh, insight that I give you uh, uh, from a guitarist, uh, you know, <laughs> because I play guitar too, uh, point of view. And uh, gotta say, this is a very, very fast song, very seamless and fast transitions. And uh, yeah, the sound is very, very on the hard rock with uh, some uh, classic metal influences for sure. And also they got a very, very uh, full sound, uh, considered there are only three people in the band. You know, very similar as the warning, because I just reacted to the warning, uh, uh, like 10 minutes ago, before this one. And uh, yeah, this is very interesting how um, lately uh, a lot of bands seem to get such a full sound, being only a guitarist, a bassist and a drummer, you know. I never thought about this because usually I listen more to metal and metal bands typically are uh, two guitarists, you know, so they have like a, a rhythmic guitar, a lead guitar, a singer, drummer, bassist, that's it usually. And maybe some bands like uh, power metal and stuff like that have uh, even a keyboard, keyboard this, you know, keyboard players and it. But it's interesting how you could achieve a very cool sound, very hard rocky kind of sound being only three people, you know, uh, a voice of bass prod, uh, the warning, trident, well, else I know, asterism as well, you know. Lately I came to discover a lot of uh, three-piece bands that sound super cool, I really enjoyed this. <laughs> Particularly love this part, sounds very, very epic. They're singing on it. Solo, basically. Bass and guitar, nice. And I gotta say. I'm really impressed by their drummer. Uh, their drummer is probably my favorite member in this band, not gonna lie. Uh, her playing is very awesome. She's very fast, very technical, and uh, stays always in the pocket, you know what I mean? I really like that kind of sound, especially in art rock music and, uh, you know, classic heavy metal, very, very cool. And uh, this solo also was very interesting because it was very functional to the song, you know what I mean? Like, nothing super duper flashy, like, for example, like power metal and stuff like that, but, you know, uh, went uh, with the melody uh, of the song and uh, that part at the end with the bass and guitar also sounded super cool, really liked it. And uh, I like uh, their style of uh, musicianship because it's very, very functional to the song, you know. Uh, usually I'm a sucker for super flashy solos, not gonna lie, uh, you know that at this point if you uh, watch my videos for a, a long time, you know what I mean? But um, I think in this kind of style of music, you know, very fast, uh, very hard rocky sounding, but not super duper heavy, this kind of solos is better, in my opinion, sounds, uh, you know, because the melody, I think it's more important in this kind of music, right?
in my opinion, of course. <laughs>